speaking today. Oh, really, it's oh. these drums that are centuries old, these trees that are with us that are doing the speaking today. That's what this is about. We have been taught from the time we were little that we have had no power. We've been taught from the time we were little that we aren't worth anything. And the reality is they've tried every kind of genocidal tactic on us and we are still here. Oh. And there's been a lot of damage done to our communities, to our families, to our peoples in many different ways. But we need to wipe that clean. We need to heal from that now because it's time for us to reach into our true selves reach into those ancestors that run in the, in the blood of our veins, in the, in the cells of our bodies, because we are all related to each other and to oh. them. These trees, the water, the land, every part of the beings are depending on us because we have the ability to stop these machines, to stop that monster that's trying to lay its way across the tracks of our Mother Earth from our Turtle Island. <laughs> My name is Lakota Hardin, Tashina Skawi. I'm in Ikoju and Yankton, Lakota, Dakota, and Ho Chunk. I'm also adopted into the Deshitan clan, Raven, from the Tlingit Nation, from Sitka, Alaska. I was raised in the American Indian Movement. I was raised with women of all red nations. And um, on the Pine Ridge Reservation, my family was part of the Wounded Knee Takeover. So I was raised at a very conscious level of what this government was actually doing. When I was seven years old, my 97-year-old grandmother, great-great-grandmother, told me stories of what it was like before the invasion came, when our people were truly free. And she told me about this time coming. So I've spent a lifetime doing the work that I do to try and help people overcome the internalized oppression, helping people to be aware of what is really happening, what is really going on in this country. And with that, I decided that I would just keep going, keep working, doing whatever I could because I knew that the ancestors were returning to us. So when all the young people started rising up all over in many places, starting in the north, in Canada, and when Teresa Spence went on her hunger strike and said, no more, no more of this, we've had enough, and the attention was, was drawn by so many nations indigenous nations all over the world, I started realizing this is the time that they were talking about. This is the time my great-great-grandmother was telling me was happening. So I know that what is happening is what is supposed to happen, what we were told is coming. And all those ancestors would tell us that they're coming to help us because we're taught in this culture to be afraid. We're taught in this culture to be worried, to um, fear, and they used Christianity to bring that on to us when they stole our children for generations, put them in boarding schools. So we started to lose connection with the original teachings that we had that kept us connected to this earth. Horshe Tuhe Ka'at Lashanka Ka'at Ra'at Karina. My name is Karina, I'm Chochenyo Ohlone, and we are here at uh, the Idle No More um, today in Oakland at the Oscar Grant Plaza where Occupy Oakland happened not that long ago, but it's the traditional land of my ancestors, the Ohlone people. I feel like that we're not working alone. I feel like that there are people from all different walks of life that are coming together to listen to indigenous people, to find out how the the laws that affect us as human beings um, on this earth also affects everyone. And I think that that's what the wonderful thing about Idle No More has been about, is that you can see so many people that come out, young and old, um, no matter what their political beliefs are, um, can get together behind this to feel like they're doing something. That for one day we come together, that we're able, we're visible, that we're not invisible anymore. That there's a visibility in the media and the public, that indigenous people all over the world um, are standing together to say that this isn't right and that we have a voice and that we need to come together as all human beings. I offer you this prayer. 
from the four directions, the east, the west, the north, and the south. I ask the grandfathers and the grandmothers who sacrificed their lives for us to be here as earth people. Oh, greetings and thanksgiving to grandfathers and grandmothers and to all our relatives who has gone to the spirit world who are watching us now. I ask you to watch over us and to protect us as indigenous people, to give us the energy and the wisdom and the knowledge and the courage to stand up against all enemies. That's all I have to offer is my prayer and my tobacco and my sage.